All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Boston is two games away, two games away from winning a championship. And ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't be more happier. I am just feeling great because number one boston defended home court so i am expecting dallas to defend their home court as well but at the same time boston is undefeated on the road we're six and oh on the road this whole entire playoffs we're on a nine game winning streak right now i have no doubt in my mind that boston is going to take at least one game on the road that's just what i think from what i have seen from boston that's what i believe is going to happen but we can't be looking down the line right now we can't be looking at game three game four game five whatever we need to talk about this game that happened right here and i want to get boston out of the way first because i want to talk about the dallas mavericks and what they could have possibly done in this game to split it going back to dallas the first thing that i want to talk about with boston is their defense because oh my god throughout this whole entire game their defense was felt and off the rip one for nine from three at the beginning of the first quarter we obviously saw that this was going to be a game that boston was going to struggle from three and most of the time we see when boston struggles from three they tend to have close games they tend to lose games they tend to get lax day school on the offensive side of the basketball but that wasn't the case their defense turned into their offense and it was just something great to watch and the one thing that i do want to say is i absolutely love these types of wins from boston solely because it shows what our other strengths are a lot of people like to say that we take too many threes me personally i don't think we take too many threes i know i've said that we probably take too many threes in the past and i'd like to see us work from the inside out but at this point, we're going to take the threes because we're making them. So I'm fine with it. There were multiple plays where I saw Drew Holiday get stops. There were multiple plays where I saw Jalen Brown get stops. That play that Jason Tatum had in the fourth quarter against Kyrie Irving and ISO. The stop that Derek White literally had to basically seal this whole entire game. The Boston Celtics on the defensive end were just extremely connected. And it's just what Boston does. And it goes to show how great they are at what they do. Even if you're not getting the type of shooting performance that you would want from Tatum and we're going to be talking about him later even if you see Tatum shooting six for 22 even if you're not cracking the long ball the way that you would want to crack the three ball 10 for 39 25 percent from three even if you're having a game like that you can still win by seven this is what Boston's been doing all season long and they're just able to show it in the NBA finals now let's talk about Jason Tatum because even if Jason Tatum is having a bad shooting night he still ended up having a type of game that you would want him to have when you're having that bad shooting night 12 assists I love it I love each and every minute of it like the screen setting great the defense that he was playing great he was making the right plays each and every time down the court great but at some point we need you to score the basketball like oh my god it's really really hard to defend tatum and i'm not talking about on the offensive side of the basketball i'm talking about in spaces with nba fans like god damn bro it's so tough because if you're having a game like this on the grandest stage of them all it's gonna be difficult to defend you bro we know you for scoring so score the basketball like there are some times where jason tatum has the shots that you would want him to take he just not he's just not making them it's tough to try to defend him but if this is the jason tatum that i'm gonna be getting for the rest of the series i'm completely content with it because if he continues to play the game the right way he continues to make the right pass he continues to make the right play down the stretch we're gonna be winning a championship and as long as we are winning basketball games and he's still playing like this but the rest of the guys are playing the way that they're playing i am all for it we're two wins away from a championship so there's nothing for me to really complain about but at some point tatum you gotta show up you gotta show up and start making some shots because i want to tell people damn the jt game the game where he finally showed up to play but damn them jump shots just aren't falling i tweeted out on my twitter you guys can go follow right here i tweeted out that it feels like jason tatum is second guessing on some possession whether or not to shoot the basketball and there was this one play that jason tatum did have he was getting past its defender i can't remember who was guarding him 
but he was met with lively at the rim and i thought now was the moment for jason tatum to strike i thought he was going to be aggressive in this moment but he ended up passing the ball to al horford in the corner and i think that that ended up breaking the play i don't think we got a bucket off that play i think it resulted in a miss but these are the type of plays that i'm talking about where jason tatum second guesses himself or he pump fakes and he makes the extra pass but the extra pass didn't even really need to be made he could have just laid the ball up or he could have tried to get a shot all i want to do is win so if Tatum, if you're going to be playing like this the rest of the series, I'm fine with it. As long as we're getting W's in the result, that's all that matters to me. And I want to touch on Boston's offense really briefly before we talk about the Dallas Mavericks. Boston's offense, even though we shot the ball poorly from three, we were still moving the basketball. Like in years past, this wouldn't have happened. Like there are times where if the shot isn't falling, we'd bring the ball up the court. It'd be one pass into a three. The amount of times that I've seen Derek White do that, the amount of times i've seen Jalen brown do that or jason tatum or hell even marcus smart just take a cte3 like i remember there was this one play in the miami series last season where we were bringing the ball up and we were in transition and then this nigga marcus smart just turned his body and immediately shot a three at the top of the key i'm sitting here like bro that is the most cte shot i've ever seen in my life nowadays the ball is going to continue moving because drew holiday is the one moving it jason tatum is addicted to moving the basketball as i just used as an example earlier Derek white is going to continue moving the ball al horford when he's in is going to move the ball and even when jason tatum isn't having the game that you would want him to have he has guys that step up like this game drew holiday was the one to step up in game one it was jalen brown and chris Stapps porzingis who were taking the bulk of the shots and who were making the bulk of the shots now it's drew holiday who literally went 11 for 14 this stat line this 26 points 11 for 14 2 for 4 from 3 11 rebounds three assists a block and a steal a piece doesn't do the due diligence of how impactful drew holiday was in this game he was absolutely amazing you can find him wherever shooting threes you can find him in the lane you can find him on transition you can find him cut into the basket drew holiday was literally everywhere in this game and he had his fingerprints all over it but enough of the celtics we need to talk about the dallas mavericks because the way that they have been looking these past two games is really making me concerned for games three and four going back into dallas because my god the supporting cast around Luka Doncic this series has just not been good it has not been good number one we need to speak about Kyrie Irving real quick because he is the thumbnail he is the title of this video Kyrie needs to be better there's this one thing that i like to point out in 2019 in the second round Kyrie Irving he went onto the podium and he said guys i ain't gonna shoot eight for 22 again i promise there's not gonna be a game like this again and then the next game he ended up shooting like what seven for 23 that ended up being a graphic that lived in infamy now it's funny because after game one he stepped up to the podium and said I thought Boston was going to be a little louder. After shooting 6 for 19, you saying you wish Boston was a little louder and then coming out and stinking up the joint again, shooting 7 for 18, 16 points, 6 assists, had 2 bad turnovers. You got to be better, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, yes, Kyrie was getting to the rack the way that you would want him to. He was finishing, and as was the rest of the Dallas Mavericks crew. But at the same time, you're still not making your threes. If you are not making threes against Boston, and Boston is converting on the other side, you are not going to win. And on top of that, you're not making your free throws. This is another game where you shoot 60-something percent from the free throw line. You cannot be having this against this Boston team because at the end of the day, you can make your twos, you can make the tough buckets all you want, but if you're not converting at the free throw line and if you're not making your threes, there is a math issue. There's a math issue. We all know how Joe Mazzulla is as a coach. So there's nothing else that I can really tell Dallas to do other than to make their shots. Kyrie Irving, you have yet to make a three in this series. What has been going on? You need to make your shots. Luka Doncic cannot be having a Luka Doncic type game. 32 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. Like you cannot be having this type of game from Luka and nobody follow. Kyrie Irving, PJ Washington should not be making more shots than you. He should not be having more points than you, bro. He had 17 to your 16. You need to be giving us the type of performance that we have been used to you giving us. All playoffs long, we've been talking about Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Right now, it's just Luka Doncic. 
where is kai nowhere to be found i do anticipate him and the rest of the role players stepping up as well but damn Derek Jones Jr. 0 for 3 from 3. PJ Washington 1 for 5. Kyrie Irving has yet to make it through this whole entire series. Luka Doncic had his 4 for 9 game. He shot 44%. That was the most on the team. Besides Dante Exum making his 3. Josh Green, you missed a couple wide open 3s. Maxi Kleba, you had butt naked open 3s, dog. Butt naked open 3s and you're not making them. That is an issue. But in my opinion, I think that if they're at home, those threes would get knocked down. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hoping that they just play better basketball. They just need to play better basketball. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You cannot be having these type of performances. I mean, there are some things that you can take away from this game. One thing that I won't take away from this game is the amount of turnovers you guys had. You guys had 15 to their, what, 10, I believe, Boston had. That needs to get cleaned up. You won the rebound battle. So you can carry that on to the next game, but damn, this is not a good performance from the Dallas Mavericks at all. Like even in the first half, it did feel like the ball wasn't getting swung around like you would want it to be. I don't know if that man, Jason Kidd, went into the film room and said, damn, there's really not much we can do about them physically on the basketball court. So we gotta attack them mentally. Jalen Brown, I think you're their best player. If, if this is really what it is, then, find yourselves cooked there's not many games that you're gonna get from boston to where they're shooting as poorly as they did tonight you're not gonna get that many games so to let this one slip out of your hands after you started the game great it's kind of hard to come back from i'm gonna be honest and with a team like boston who literally is undefeated on the road it's gonna be a tough task you're down to all right now i'm expecting them as i said in the beginning of the video to defend their home court just like boston did this series is far from over i don't expect this to be an over series after the dallas trip Kyrie, you gotta show up man we need you bro well they need you not me you can continue playing bad because boston needs a championship banner 18 will be hung we are two games away from a championship and celebrating ladies and gentlemen that's all I got for y'all today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what the Dallas Mavericks can do down in the comment section below. What would you do if you were Jason Kidd in this scenario? And is Jason Tatum a fraud or is his jump shot just not falling? Let me know in the comment section below. Sign, so, sound off. God damn. Sound off and I'm going to sign out. I'll see y'all later. Peace.